Welcome back for another video. I'm Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me, maybe like you. Now in this video, I want to answer a question that I keep getting asked and that is what is the difference between power pack or WP Beaver add-ons and uh, it's a little confusing and ultimate add-ons for the Beaver Builder and these are add-on packages for Beaver Builder, the free version of Beaver Builder, or the paid version of Beaver Builder. They'll work on both. And uh, uh, what's the difference between these two? Because they both came out around the same time and it might be a little confusing. Now, I've got this page on my website for Beaver Builder. It's just this Beaver Builder resources page. And I recently added a comparison chart to it. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to that right now. Uh, so let me click on add-ons and scroll down. Here's some links to both of those products. And so first let's look at the differences on the, the surface. And then I'm going to share a little insight based upon my personal experience buying WordPress stuff. Okay, And I know a lot of you are going to be able to relate to me when I get to that point. So on the surface, now I also added Beaver Lodge. I do not have Beaver Lodge. I haven't evaluated Beaver Lodge. I'll address that in this chart when I'm done looking at the surface comparisons, okay? So there's a little cost difference to just get that right off the top. Ultimate add-on, 69, power pack, 49. So there's this $20 difference and then Beaver Lodge is a little less expensive. Um, now, both of them add something called custom modules, and these are modules that you can drag and drop anywhere on your Beaver Builder pages that you're building. So with Ultimate Add-ons, you're getting 35, Power Pack 25, Beaver Lodge 34. So there is some more add-ons with Ultimate Add-ons. Now, Power Pack, some of what they're referring to as modules really aren't modules they might be features elsewhere in the plugin uh, but uh, with ultimate add-ons it is actually 35 modules I have counted it um, so I'll maybe get on to that point a little bit soon um, next is row separators I'm a big fan of row separators uh, it really can spruce up the design of your website and you're actually getting row separators with ultimate add-ons and power pack not beaver lodge um, a light box and what a light box is is essentially a pop-up or it's called a modile but to us that speak English it's called a pop-up so ultimate add-ons does not have a light box feature power pack doesn't it's actually pretty cool um, so I'm gonna give them credit for that however I do see that Beaver Builder is gonna be releasing its own light box solution in the core plugin so I don't necessarily know if that's uh, gonna be super important now here's two things that I think are very very important to me and I don't know about you but they're very important to me and that is pre-designed templates so with ultimate add-ons they have these things called sections and essentially they're just rows that have been pre-designed that you can drag and drop change the images in the text and you've got a whole section of your website now I've built several websites using ultimate add-ons and I leveraged those designed rows significantly because it's kind of hard to come up with creative ideas with See, here's the problem with most websites, and, and, and some web designers, they just slap paragraph after paragraph of text on, on a web page. I don't like doing that. I kind of want to break it up and kind of display it in a more visually appeal, appealing way so it doesn't look so text heavy. And that's where these row templates have really uh, come in for me to really just break up the information so it's not paragraph, 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 maybe a picture, you know, those dull kind of websites. So anyways, with Ultimate Add-ons, you're getting 150 of these pre-designed row templates. And you can actually go to their website, just click here, go to the website and take a look at it. You don't get that on PowerPack or Beaver Lodge. That's a feature unique to Ultimate Add-ons. Next is actually fully designed page templates. Now, when you buy Beaver Builder, the plugin, they give you, I think it's now up to 28 page templates and they're great but uh, Ultimate Add-ons also has page templates that are included. Now I have a beta copy of the plugin. I'm gonna show you how that works in a sec. 
uh, but you don't get that with Power Pack or Beaver Lodge. So you can see on paper there's some things to justify the additional $20 that it costs to buy Ultimate add-ons. And for me, it really boils down to those row templates and those page templates. Now, there's going to be lots of other little differences between the two. And you really have to decide if those are important to you. Um, so I'll, I'll jump over to their websites and we'll actually, I'll try to point out some of the obvious differences and little features that one might add. I know Ultimate Add-ons, it adds something really cool to your columns. You can actually center uh, vertically your column and that is something specific to ultimate add-ons I use that non-stop it's one of my new favorite features another thing that it has that's very unique is it adds a spacer now beaver builder has a spacer that's when you might have say an image in some text and you want to put a spacer somewhere to maybe align it up a little better uh, but the unique part of Ultimate Add-ons is the spacer. You can set the space for a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile device. So uh, it's going to end up making it a lot easier and save you a lot of time of having to customize things with code if you even know how to do that. So let's just take a look at their websites. So first I'm going to go over to PowerPack's website. It's right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see, where is it? Okay, it's right here. So I'm going to look at some of the modules that they're featuring on their site. There's probably a couple that it, the plugin has that they probably might not have added here. I'm just going to go off of what I see. And I'll also show you the plugin in a moment. So Gravity Forms, what this is, is it allows you, if you use the form plugin Gravity Forms, to have some styling control over it. This is unique. And also for Contact Form 7, actually the, the Contact Form 7 is also in Ultimate Add-ons. Here's another unique one is Dot Navigation. That's where you can navigate your entire page with some dots on the right column. Uh, let's see, testimonials, logo, headings. Uh, so here, see how it considers row separators a module, but on Ultimate Add-ons, they don't consider that a module uh, in that total of modules. Uh, smart banner, da, 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 da. okay, column separator, this is unique to power plugins, and let's see here, also the modal box, which is essentially a pop-up, that's unique to them, and it is pretty cool, an announcement bar, that's, um, I believe, um, at the top or the bottom of the page, like a little announcement. You see those all the time on websites. And Timeline is actually unique here, but there's already a similar uh, feature in Ultimate Add-ons. So this is what you're getting with Power Pack. Okay, I keep calling it wrong, Power Pack. Now let's take a look at Ultimate Add-ons. So they broke it up, the modules and the sections. You can click on modules and look at all the different modules here. You can click on any of them and see demos of them all. And that's the same thing with the other plugin there. Uh, this is actually very new, this pricing box, which is actually what I used to create that comparison table that you see right here. I used this, uh, different, this uh, new module that they recently added right here. Uh, here's how they're using it. Maybe I'll spruce mine up to make it look a little nicer. So anyways, uh, but then you have the sections right here. So now let me actually jump into the plugin and just kind of show you the difference visually. And then I'm going to wrap it all up by giving you uh, my opinion on these two. Okay, disregard my header. That was for something else I was doing. So um, let me show you those page templates that you get with Ultimate Add-ons. And let me show you those row sections. So here's a button for sections. You can click on it and there's a search function and they're all broken up and categorized in these different categories. So he, I can click here and reveal little thumbnails for all the content uh, row, sep, uh, row sections. And all I have to do is I can just literally just drag and drop it, change the images and the text, and it's a real fast way to get your site up and running fast and you just have row after row that you can drag and drop in and there's a search function now one thing that they've added I've got a beta copy of it here and I'm gonna just show you um, with Beaver Builder if you wanna load a pre-done template you click on this button that says templates 
And then right here, there's this drop down. So here's my save templates. But in the drop down, you have landing pages, content pages. Ultimate add ons, at least in the beta, is adding a general tab. I'm sure they're going to change the name at some point, but for this beta, it's general. And when you click on it, you have full designed page templates right here. I can click on any of these page templates and it will uh, load the page template in there and all you have to do is change your images and your text. Now, what's really nice about these page templates is they're gonna pull the font settings from how you have them set in the theme. That's pretty awesome. But check this out. This is something else that Ultimate Add-ons has that's unique. If you click on Tools, it says Ultimate Add-ons Global Settings. And here's where you can set globally uh, primary colors, you can set button colors, and these properties will be used every time you met you add a button or every time you add something that involves one of these global settings. So what's unique about this is these pre-designed sections and these pre-designed page templates that they're putting together for you will adapt to your design. You don't have to make it adapt to yours, it will adapt automatically to your page colors and your preferences globally. So this is a huge, huge time saver if you have a site that's gonna have lots of buttons. You don't have to change the colors on every single one individually. And if you wanna change it, change them all individually. You've got this global settings panel, which is pretty huge if you ask me. Um, and they also, with Ultimate Add-ons, you get this search function here that they add to when you wanna add content. Now to adding content, with Ultimate Add-ons, you're gonna have this here, and Power Pack, you're gonna have this here. So you can just, essentially, if you wanna use any of these modules, you would click on it and just drag and drop it into the content. Same thing with Ultimate Add-ons. Okay, so that is the surface of things. Now, underneath the surface, if you have used WordPress websites for any amount of time and needed to purchase something, I'm sure you have purchased something from a developer and you're excited to buy it and, and, and you're excited on how it might make things easier for you, but then that, that it's just a developer. It's not a real company that makes it and then next thing you know, the, the developer's not interested in the plugin anymore. I've bought so many plugins like that where the developer just loses interest even though I've paid money and I might have bought a lifetime license, they just abandoned it. And that, that happens far too often, unfortunately. And that's why I really only like to buy plugins or themes from reputable, experienced developers. And so that is what's not on the surface of that comparison table. When you look at Ultimate Add-ons, it's backed by a team that has over 20 employees. They've been in business for seven years. They have multiple plugin products. They've sold 100,000 copies of their plugins. So you, when you look at that, you, what that means is they've got experience. What that means is they're not going anywhere. What that means is they've got financial backing. So when I look at that, I'm like, hmm, that's where I want to spend my money because the chances are they're going to be around improving the plugin, providing support, making it better, adding features over the long haul. The WP add-ons or the Power Pack folks, they, I think they've only been do in the plugin business. I think this is actually their first plugin in the plugin business. Maybe they've made some plugins before that they used on client sites or something like that, but this is their first foray into selling plugins, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's a smaller team, there's just a few people in it, and um, that's not to say that they're gonna go out of business, but I've had large companies that I've owned, and I know what cash flow's like, and it's very easy. You might have a million dollars in sales, but that doesn't mean any money's going in your pocket. And uh, it's very easy to go under when you have a business. Um, so, uh, because when you sell something, you have an obligation after you collect that money, the obligation to provide support, the obligation to provide security fixes. You, they're not obligated to add new features though, uh, or improve it beyond that. So when I look behind the surface, I, I look at 
ultimate add-ons and that's where I want to bet my money. So uh, another uh, example of that is Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder's been around for a few years. I think they announced a few months ago that they passed a million dollars in sales. Uh, they've got uh, team members they keep adding. So I look at that and I'm, I'm thinking Beaver Builder's gonna be around for a while. Uh, they are doing the right things and they're getting rewarded financially for that and that's where I wanna put my money. So. Um, you got to make up your own decision whether you go with one or the other, or you can use both. They perfectly coexist, uh, both of these add-on plugins. It's completely up to you. Now, for me, I'm pretty much going to be focused on using Ultimate Add-ons and mastering that because it makes the time it takes me to make a website much faster, and the results are much better, and I'm getting that from the pre-designed sections and the pre-designed page templates that are about to come out. And I have actually needed support from Ultimate Add-ons and it was a great experience. Submitted my ticket, they jumped in my site, they did some CSS fix, they added it to the plugin later and it was done. And there was another time that I needed some help and it wasn't even their plugin, it was the Beaver Builder plugin and yet they fixed that for me too. So. Anyways, you've got to make up the decision for yourself, but I did want to clarify what my position is and what my opinion is on that. And there's enough room for multiple add-on plugins um, in the Beaver Builder ecosystem, if you want to call it that. There's plenty of room for lots of different add-on plugins uh, in that ecosystem. So anyways, that is my opinion. There you have it. And that's why I have chosen one over the other, but both of them are going to be fine as long as it does what you need it to do. And as long as it's going to end up saving you time at the end of the day, that should be what also guides your purchase decision. Hey, really quick, can you do something for me? If you're watching this on YouTube, can you give me a thumbs up? And I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a button right beneath me, and I'd really appreciate it if you did that. And I've got something for you. I don't want you to leave empty-handed. If you just click off here to the side, it's a free video course that I put together just for you called the three steps to WordPress success. You will love this course. Registration is free right now. All you have to do is click on the link right next to me. Hey, thanks for spending this time with me and I can't wait to make another video for you.